Hey there guys, it's Jared here from Brunomax895 Animation and Com Production, or I guess in this case it's a video game related thing, so it's not nothing to do with animation. Okay, kind of weird. Anyway, so what exactly am I doing here? Well, I'm going to be playing through this random Japanese game from a little known anime known as Dragon Ball Z Super Goku Den. I, it, it, one, they, they're, um, yeah, you'll see, I'll explain later about what the other ones are, but yes, uh, there are two of these kinds of games. Wh what is this exactly? Okay, I guess I'll go ahead and explain here. You see, um, I had a channel a long time ago called Perry Guy 88 uh, gaming channel, or a Let's Play, where I do Let's Plays similar to this, but, um, I decided that I want to go ahead and share you all with this game that I played a very long time ago when I was, uh, young and tried to find some other games online to play through emulators and such. So, what this is exactly is, um, a game from the Super Famicom, or for people who somehow don't know about it, but it's the Japanese Super Nintendo, and yes, this game is only released in Japan. So, yeah, um, okay. I'll just go ahead and push start here or something, I don't know. <laughs> okay, but yeah, this game has only been released in Japan, so... Yeah, um, why, why is everything in English, you're wondering? Well, apparently uh, there are people out there that created a patch to replace all the Japanese text with um, English text, so that way you can actually read it in English, so you'll know what's, act what's going on, because reading the text is very important, as you'll soon see as I get into this game. Now, I found this game out, uh, I don't know, like about 15-some years ago. And the problem was is that it was at the time it was partially translated so you could get into it and eventually it starts to get picked back to Japanese again and it becomes very difficult to play. But I think by now I think they um, finished translating this whole game so I wanted to do this for a let's play for a very long time but I couldn't because of that issue. But since the, uh, I believe that this whole game is translated I can, I can now so I'm going to do a side I'm going to try to do a let's play of this game. I'll go ahead and start it here. I know the explanation is very long and I should probably get into it. Okay, there we go. All right. So I obviously started this game because I did play this game before. I also, fun note, on that same channel I did it as a let's try and I only tried it for about an hour for people just to show what it's like. But here I'm going to actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and um, depending on how you guys feel about it, I think I'll make this into an actual let's play. So let's go check out objects here. Yeah, there's not many options here. You can do change the sound to stereo and mono standard stuff here and you can get different music openings here let's like for example here ah uh, yeah I, I love this song you'll you'll be hearing that quite a few times so okay so let's get into it and see exactly what this is about now you're probably expecting like other Dragon Ball Z games to be like more about like a fighting kind of game like that's how they usually are you know in the modern era but uh, this game is very different, as well as the sequel to this game that I also played on my channel. I guess if you're interested in seeing that, I'll show it on screen, but don't expect it to be very good. But uh, maybe I might play it here someday in, in a more updated version, but anyway, you'll see. Let's go ahead and actually start this game now. Okay. Ah, this definitely brings back memories. Yeah, you'll be entering names. Um, I don't really get the purpose of it. There's like technically stuff that happens that revolves these people's names and, and like story parts, but it really literally doesn't matter. So I, I don't know. I'll just go ahead and just put my name here, I guess. It, it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm very grateful for the people that translated it. I think they did a very good job on the translation of this, unlike um, its sequel. Uh, man, I really love to talk about it because that is uh, uh, that has so many issues, but you'll see. Oh yeah, apparently they want you to pick a gender. I don't think it matters. My, the closest thing I can approximate why this matters is that it, uh, I think the text change, probably depending on, or how things are said depending on what gender it is, because in, Jap in Japan, it's uh, you know, Japanese is kind of obvious what you know, dates on text. Uh, how men and women speak, kind of. It, it's very complicated. If you know Japanese, it, it makes a little bit more sense. Also, I have a little bit of experience in Japanese. Not formally, though, but that's how I know. But uh, otherwise, gameplay-wise, as far as I know, it doesn't matter. Just like the name, so I'm just going to pick a guy here, because obviously I'm a guy. Yeah, alright, so 
Uh, I don't really know what to put. I'm, I'm thinking about putting in letters, but I kind of want it to be more obvious. What it is. I'm just going to put, like, rival here. I'm sorry if I'm not being creative. I should probably be more creative with this, but... Then I guess that way you can see who's speaking when we get to these little story parts. And that's not how you spell rival. Clearly, I really need to get another, another letter. Yes, uh, wow, those are all these random symbols. You know what? Maybe if I have enough room, I'll put them in, just for fun. You know, they, they, the people in the game put them in there for a reason. I don't know. Yeah, right, there you go. Uh, let's make him a guy, too. I guess I'll make one of them a girl, I suppose. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should name him after some friends that I've met. That should be interesting. Nah. I don't know, maybe one of them. Let me see here... Oh yeah, let's just call him Follow, I guess. Ah, uh, yeah, this is very interesting so far, I can tell. Just entering names and not doing anything. Oh boy, okay, I guy. What is... Okay, I'm wondering, what is the difference between an I guy and an info? I think the... Info is like the person that talks about the information, but the eye guy, I don't know. They sound very similar to me. Okay, I think the people who translated this game truncated a little bit too much to the point where it I really not sp don't really know what this is. Uh, I'll just put eye man, I guess. Sure. Oh boy, eye man, I guess that's fine. Uh, okay. We'll make him a guy too. Oh, oh, apparently I entered two ends there. I didn't even mean that. Okay, we'll make this last one a girl just to see what happens. Okay, we'll just say info. I guess. Info. There we are. Oh, um, okay, apparently, I guess if you don't enter all the letters, it'll just get the last one that you selected and just repeat it. I don't know. what. I really kind of want it to be blank. I don't know, whatever. Let's just make this one a girl, because we might as well, right? Yeah, there we are. Let's accept this. Okay. Are you playing, Snicker? Okay. Hi. Nice day for a game. Uh, that's a great thing for a rival to say, apparently. Let's go. Uh, don't worry, I'm not gonna read all this dialogue out. I love reading dialogue in games, but I'm not going to do that here. Just for various reasons. Anyway. Yeah, okay, that's what I expect from a follower. Welcome to the world of Dragon Ball Z. I provide information as I kind of figured. Yeah, okay. Who else is- oh! Oh, I think there is a reason. I'll explain later. Okay, Super Goku Legend. What? I thought this game was called Super Goku Den, or the actual real name of this game that's really long and I don't remember what it is. Maybe I'll go probably put it on screen and see if you people could say it. Uh, if I remember. Alright, let's go start now. Here we are, Goku's house, and we're getting text. A lot of text. You hope see, so. this is the beginning of it. Okay, well, what I'm gonna do, people, is I'm gonna also summarize. Oh, and then a word of warning here, by the way. Um, naturally, this is like the un the, the original uh, Dragon Ball as it's originally presented. As in, this is like uh, no censorship and stuff. So, if you are uh, like a younger viewer watching this, you probably might wanna be aware that I'm probably going to mention some of the sexual stuff that happens in this, but I'll, you know, just a, just a word of warning here, if you're sensitive of all that somehow, but if you're not bothered by that, then you, whatever, that doesn't apply to you, I guess. Okay, so yeah, but I'm going to basically summarize everything of what's going on here. Yeah, alright, so we got Goku here, and he's hungry. Oh, and, and there's the four-star Dragon Ball, which he calls his grandpa get into that more, but, alright, so apparently go, we're gonna go fish. This is a very exciting way to start an adventure, clearly. How to catch. How do you catch a D? Alright. Oh, and apparently this fish wants to eat Goku, but, uh, that's not gonna happen. Okay, so here we go. Uh, this is the beginning of one of the stuff that happens in this game. It's kind of like mini games that happens here. In this game here, you can, you can pick the you have to kind of predict where the fish is going to go, and then you just pick it. It's just, you just keep doing it until you um, pick the right one. It's kind of annoying, really. If you 
Oh yeah, you have to push Y to do it. Oh, okay. I obviously picked the wrong one. Let's pick this one. Oh, there we go. We got it. Alright, uh, normally it would be a lot more annoying than that, but I guess I got lucky. Okay, there we go. We got the fish, and we can move on. Okay, something's going on here. But before we continue on to the next scene, I'm going to push the start button. You could do this anytime, uh, pretty much at any time, and you can see the options here. I'm going to be showing you this uh, for a reason. You'll see soon enough. Okay, so what do we have here on the screen? Okay, these blank squares here are bonka pages, so... If you uh, keep going through the story and follow what's going on with the, as the same as the manga and the anime, you get manga pages. I'm not quite sure what the purpose of that is. I think it's for scoring reasons. If uh, I'm, Of course, if you people know more about this game than I do, can you um, let me know exactly what the reasons are? I could research it, but I really don't feel like doing that, so I'm going to roll out the people to help me. Because I know how um, very well informed you are about this stuff. Okay, anyway, you got Goku's health, and his attack power, and his max attack power there, and then the Dragon Balls, which, um, we'll get throughout the adventure here. The time, yeah, okay, all that stuff is, and that's about it here. Okay, let's go see what this is. Alright, so, here, this is the list of all of Goku's attacks. Basically, you, uh, assign them all to dip the, the, uh, buttons here. He has different ones here, like the special stuff, fists, kicks, and ways to block attacks. So let's go to sit up here, and here you can assign which button here um, on the A button that you, uh, oh, oh, how do you perform the attack when we get into battle. Let's, for example, pick rock. Okay, see, um, if you, whenever you're in battle, which we'll see in a moment, if you hold A and up, you perform these scissors things here. It's best that you try to memorize this stuff here, or you should do it in a way that makes sense. Um, I think it's fine the way it is, I just have to remember. The, the most important one that you should probably remember is scissors. The, I think scissors is the most, uh, the one that you remember. The other ones are not too useful right now, they're okay. The bar one is basically when he uses his power staff, which goes by main names. Oh, and by the way, um, I hope you forgive me for not getting a lot of these names correct. I'm, um, I, I guess I'm more of a casual Dragon Ball Z fan. I, I did watch them both in English and in Japanese. It's just been a while since I've seen the Japanese version of this, so I forgive me if I don't use the correct name for it. For all this, but for like people who haven't seen a Japanese one, it's this power pole stick. Yeah, he uses that to attack with. It. It's uh, it's not too useful. There are there's like one instance where you have to use it, but most of the time you don't really need to worry about it. I'd say you just mostly stick to scissors and rock. Okay, and then um, yeah, well, we're gonna leave that stuff alone. So yeah, we can just. So uh, yeah, it's kind of lame. He only has like one attack right now. But as you go through the game, he keeps learning some more attacks that you can assign to these button combinations. But right now, all he can do is punch, so that's pretty easy to remember. Yeah, punch is where he just... The punch and kicks are, you know, where he actually just punches and kicks. It's not very interesting yet. And then this is... And his only way to block is just to push X. He does a lot more cooler... Goku does a lot more cooler things that he can use to avoid attacks, but he doesn't know them right now. So, yeah, this is pretty uninteresting, but, uh, don't worry, as we go along here, you'll see that he's gonna have a lot more moves to, to work with. But right now, it's just kind of boring. Anyway, um, let's see, check this one. Okay, um, I, I guess this is, shows how accurately you're going through all the events that, from the manga. And apparently, um, those people that we name are playing along and are trying to, uh, get the better score than us or something. I don't know. I don't really get the point of this. Again, uh, if you people know more about this, please uh, put it down in the comments. I would really like to know. Uh, if you've played this game before, I don't know how many other people who have. <laughs> okay, let's go one more area here. Okay, so here uh, this is where we can learn so these are all the attacks that Goku can learn. Yeah, there's a lot more left here. And every time we learn a new attack, it gets marked off here, so it's interesting to see, and uh, there, there's another thing here. 
if I remember. Yeah, there we go. These are all the events that actually happens. That these are do um, happen in the manga. But uh, the, you'll find out very soon enough that you can really screw the story up, but you'll see soon enough the most, one of the more interesting things about this game. Okay, so I've talked uh, enough about the menu. Let's go ahead and move on back to the game. I'm sorry if I bored you with all that. I just want to let you know about that stuff. But yeah, I like to get. I, I mentioned this because we're going to finally get into our very first fight. Well, I put fight in quotations here. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we're going to be against Bulma. Yeah, all right. So that's good. This is gonna be easy. Yeah, they, uh, the game doesn't tell you exactly what to do. We'll tell you soon. Uh oh, oh, she shot Goku, but uh, clearly it's uh, he's a super being. Yeah, it doesn't really affect him at all too much. Okay. Okay, let, okay, let's just go ahead and punch her out. There you go. You really can't actually get a game over if you just let her keep shooting you. It's funny enough, but we're not going to let that happen. But yeah, it, it's pathetically easy. Just do one punch and you're dead. And there you go. See, we actually gained a new ability, and we're going to go ahead and check out what that is real quick. All right, so let's go ahead and push start here and see what we got. I kind of wish it tell you what you have. That would be... But uh, very helpful. Let's see. No new special. I don't know why they call it DEC, by the way. No budge. Okay, it's a new block, right? Yeah. We are two new um, kinds of blocking. The jump and the bar block. I get this. This seems to make more logical sense to me. The, uh, certain attacks use a certain kinds of blocks, so... We'll get to see which one of this works. Anyway, let's just go ahead and uh, do this here. Okay, so now um, Bulma and Goku are getting acquainted with each other. Yeah, he uh, clearly never seen a girl before in his whole entire life. Or maybe he has, I don't know. And then she knows... Go yeah, Goku has a tail here and it's very strange. Okay, now we're gonna go over to Goku's house. Okay, and then there he goes. He shows him the his grandpa, which is the Dragon Ball. Oh, and there we go. And she shows him the other two Dragon Balls that she has. Yeah, uh, um, uh, Boma is uh, also looking for the Dragon Balls here. And she wants to make a wish, in order, and I believe that she wants to wish for a boyfriend or something like that. And she uses a dragon radar, which I don't know if it's clear, but she has a dragon radar that she made herself. To use it for the drug, find out all the dragon balls. Yeah, she's actually quite smart, but to me, I kind of find her annoying, but you'll see. Oh yeah, and then in this scene, she's going to show her, her hip. Or butt, or something like that. It, it, I think it's translated in different ways, but it's kind of mostly like her hip or something. And there we go. We're presented with the very first story choice of the of the game. Okay, so um, what happens here is that um, whatever you pick um will kind of affect like how the story will go. Sometimes it can just be a minor little line change, or it can actually like affect certain events that actually happened in the game where different things will happen. I don't think this is one of them, though, but, um, here, the correct choice that you're supposed to say is that Goku doesn't touch her hip or butt or whatever, and he just finds it gross. But you can actually do this. Um, for my playthrough of this game, I'm gonna try to follow as close to the manga as I can if for what is the stuff that I remember. So, but if you want to see, like, um, what happens if you choose all these choice that didn't happen in the manga and how mess up the story can be, you can look at my Let's Try on my other channel if you're curious. But here I'm gonna actually follow what's supposed to happen so we can get manga pages in. I don't know, I guess I feel like being authentic here. So let's go ahead and pick Don't Touch. There we go. So yeah, just like I said, he doesn't want to touch her hips. But uh, they eventually he, she convinced him to help him out anyway so that's what happens here. So now they're going to be working together.
Okay, and then she's gonna show her the caps. Oh, oh, now that. Oh, now she's showing the dragon radar. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, there we go. So this shouldn't really be all that difficult, right? We just follow um, whatever the dragon radar says, and we'll get all the dragon balls. Yeah, for people who have seen this show, that's it's not gonna be quite that simple, but you'll see. All right, there we go. I, I believe um, Bulma's name is actually pronounced like Bloomer or something in Japan in Japanese, and that's why Goku finds it funny. But it doesn't really translate very well here because uh, Bulma just sounds just like a regular, just like some kind of a name. Anyway, let's. She's gonna show her the capsule here. Um, yeah, these capsules can hold like different stuff inside them. Uh, pretty convenient, interesting. Okay, so uh, apparently we stopped for some reason. Oh no, she just oh go. Uh, Bulma wants to use the bathroom. Okay. Uh, okay, so here we go. Here's another story thing, but this does affect things uh, kind of here. The choice here is we could either stay like Bulma says, or we could play with the bike. Now, um, if you decide to play with the bike, first of all, it didn't happen in the mod. He actually stays there. But if you actually uh, do this option, you're going to skip a fight that happens here. So, um, if you uh, don't, I don't, I'm not sure if you get anything for it or not. But yeah, you'll basically skip a fight here and um, just move on. But uh, we're going to go, like I said, I'm going to go and follow the manga as closely as possible. And I actually want to show off this fight, so let's go ahead and choose to stay. Okay, now uh, Boba is apparently crying somewhere. Uh oh and uh, looks like a pterodactyl creature got her, and he's gonna eat her. Well, we can't let that happen, so uh, Goku's gonna go ahead and save the day. All right, here we go. Let's begin. Now this is the first actual real fight in this game. Okay, so here we go. Now what I'm doing here is that I'm charging up with by holding um, R L and R. Um, unfortunately, the game doesn't tell you to do this. Uh, oh, I better block. Ah, no, I pushed B. Oh, no, I think I pushed X the right time. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, it doesn't tell you to do this because I, it cost me to lose uh, quite a few times because uh, if you actually power up, it makes this fight a lot easier. But if you don't do it, uh, it's a lot, it's quite difficult. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and use scissors and stun him. What I usually do. There we go. If you use the scissors, he gets stunned, and, he, and you can be able to get a free shot of him. And then I just go ahead and throw in rock by pushing just the A button. Uh, okay, I think it's time to block now. There we go. But yeah, um... This game doesn't really t explain this part, and it actually could be very difficult if you don't know this little trick. A similar thing happens with uh, the sequel of the game, Dragon Ball Z Goku Dead 2, which I really don't like very much. Maybe I'll explain that some other time. Okay, I better be serious. Okay, well, I, I okay, he is being a bit serious. I, uh, am I really gonna die in the first instance? <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, all right, enough of this. Let's come on. Let's uh, go ahead and stun him. Or, or I just did paper. Whatever. It, it, who cares? It worked. All right, there we go. We beat him. All right, that was easy. Yeah, we don't get anything from it. So yeah, you could just skip it if you want. But this is what's supposed to happen. So I don't really feel bad about that. Okay, but yeah, uh, like I said, um, you have to just be careful about that. Though, it, it, I mean, if you don't power up, it's not that bad. But you really could actually lose, and um, you have to start the game over again. As in, there's hardly any checkpoints in the game. Yeah, it, it's really annoying. But, uh, we beat them anyway. So, just just be aware of that. The, the game will tell you about it later, though. Okay, so, yeah, uh, they're gonna... Uh, Goku and Bulba are gonna make camp now. And they're gonna use another capsule to do it. Yes, and yeah, it could make this castle is good for anything. The, yeah, she's also the, the she's uh, Bulba's basically the daughter of the person that makes these castles. So, uh, yeah, no, I, that's stuff that's probably we should know about for a while. But I just want to let you know, anyways. Okay, so yeah, they're gonna go ahead and stay here now. 
into this little house and go ahead and uh, do some antics here. Oh, and apparently she's gonna wash Goku. Oh, okay, that's not quite strange at all, but all right. I, I guess I should be forced for that, Goku. I guess I don't know. Okay, and that and now she's gonna realize that the tale that Goku has is actually real and not fake. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's a little more talking. <laughs> That's just great. Okay. Oh, hey, jeez. We have to go through this scene, don't we? Alright, let's get this over with. Okay, so, um... Goku is gonna uh, sleep on her thigh because that's what he did with his grandpa. Yeah, that's not quite strange at all. And then he's talking about his origin here. Okay. And now it's time for the next morning. Oh, jeez. Uh, no. What are you doing, Goku? <laughs> Nothing in her pants. Oh! <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, well, well, all right. <laughs> I guess the sea speaks for itself there. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, now we got to do this big misunderstanding. So basically, okay, the game doesn't tell you this, but basically what Goku did is that he took Boba's pants and her underwear off. When, when they did his little inspection. You'll see uh, where that's going to happen uh, soon enough. Of course, the game doesn't tell you this. Yeah, the game. what the game does is that it describes these events to you, which is kind of lame. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, it's a turtle. I don't wonder where he came from. Oh jeez, uh, that's very far from here. How did he mess that up? Oh jeez. Okay, now uh, this is going to be another um, this, uh, choice here, but it's, it's actually quite annoying. Okay, what you're supposed to do... Okay, so um, once again, um, if you decide to just go with Bulma and ignore the turtle, it's not going to be a big deal, but this is the point where the story will really be messed up and things will be very out of order. I guess I'll describe some of this to you, uh, uh, but even though I did do it in that Let's Try video on my other channel. Basically, if you um, decide to just ignore the turtle and just move on, they decide to go over to... I think they went to that village where they beat Ulog, and they, 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 and they don't get to the Master Roshi stuff until way later. But basically, the events of the game will still happen. They'll just happen in a different order. It, it, it won't skip anything. It's, it, it, it's really jacked up. But what you're supposed to do, of course, is you have to take him to the ocean. So that way he can return to his owner. But the thing, the annoying thing is, is that if you just push here, Boma will uh, not take that for an answer. You can't move on. What you're supposed to do is you have to push the X button to try to convince her... So that way we could actually take this option, and you have to do that sometimes in this game. It's very irritating. Okay, so we did that, so is that enough? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and follow the events as it's supposed to happen. We're going to go through one, and this will lead to another fight. Again, if you um don't do this and you just ignore the turtle, you'll skip this fight that's coming up as well. But, um... We're going to go through one more battle before we go ahead and end things. So let's just go ahead and get that over with. Okay, so we're going to go through this mountain pass here. And oh, look, there's a, a bandit. Apparently he wants to eat the turtle, which we're obviously not going to let him do. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of this guy too. What the? Oh, apparently this game is still not part of it. Still not a properly translated. There's a lot, still some Japanese in there. Yeah, well, whatever. Let's just get this over with. Okay, we stunned him, so let's just hit him with rock. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, he blocked, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's quite simple to do. Oh yeah, and also if you hit them when they're about to glow, then they get pushed all the way back to their starting point. And they won't get a chance to counterattack. Watch this. Ah, dang it! Oh! Oh, okay. Well, I messed up. I clearly messed that up. Okay. Well, that's what happened that uh, in the beginning of that fight before. Oh, what the heck. Oh, I'll push the wrong button. It's just basically a way so you they don't uh, get a chance to attack. Jesus Christ. Still, still going. I thought it would be done by now. Okay. Well, let's just get this over with. Come on, die. Thank you. Thank God. That took a, that took a lot longer than I expected, honestly. Yeah, oops. Yeah, I guess that's what he says when he's dead. Okay, we got ourselves an ability. Let's go ahead and... Um, let's see, I guess we should stop here, right? Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and stop here. Before we end things, let's go ahead and equip our new ability and put it there. What the? Uh, hold on. How do we get Dragon Oh, yeah, that's from Bulba's Dragon Balls. I remember. Yeah, he did show us that. Okay, I was wondering for a second where those Dragon Balls come from, but yeah, it was part of the story. Okay, anyway, let's see... What did we get? Oh! I like this one. It's the three John Ken. It's basically like him doing rock, paper, scissors all together. Now, that's a cool thing to learn. That's... Oh, we, unfortunately we can't chase the standard A button. That's really annoying, but let's just replace that with paper. I find that quite useless. Alright, uh, I think that's it. Yeah, that's all. Okay, probably. Whatever, it's fine. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. I know we didn't reach a save checkpoint, but it's this video is just getting on for a little longer than expected. But anyway, uh, I really like to know if you guys like happen to want me to keep playing this game. I, I, I don't know, I might keep playing it anyway, but just let me know what you guys think of me playing through games like this. I know I what should focus on more animation and stuff but I really kind of want to share like my enjoyment of playing games especially like these weird Japanese like games as well and um yeah okay so just tell me what you guys think about this video if you guys happen to like it if you want me to keep doing these along with the usual animation stuff I do yeah okay so just put it out in the comments there I'm gonna go ahead and end things here Thank you all for joining me in this video, and I hope you uh, join me for the next one. Okay, uh, that's weird. Okay, uh, yeah, whatever. I'll, I'll see you guys uh, next time, and you all have a nice day.